very dangerous thing to give a former president a uh, microphone or a podium because all of these events flash back. But I noticed that uh, before I came up, Paul said, now, do you think you can do this in one minute? And he actually knew the answer, but probably for a different reason. Honorary Chair, and special guests, family, friends, awards recipients, it's wonderful to be here this evening back in the Trent family. In fact, I haven't really left it. I'm just taking a pause from a big smoke. Uh, and it's particularly nice to be back in my home club uh, for those of you who are golfers. Um, Jonathan, thank you. It's wonderful to see you as MC. I, I was sitting there thinking about what a generational experience this is tonight. The very recent graduates uh, MCing and leading the parade uh, for us all, but also being in the midst of some of our very first uh, graduates from the institution. So that wonderful combination of future and past uh, comes together uh, yet again. Um, in the program, you will see that uh, Paul Delaney uh, is an award-winning teacher who has influenced many, many lives. And there are people that you meet, you meet lots of people as presidents, uh, and there are those that you remember because of the occasion, you remember many because of what they've done. Uh, some you remember though because they've had an impact on your part. Uh, and I can honestly say uh, that that's, uh, that's my friend Paul. And we are friends. Uh, the program outlines a number of awards that Paul has received from the Governor General's Award for Excellence in Teaching and Canadian History to the TVO Teacher of the Year Award um, lots of prestigious uh, uh, recipients uh, of, of awards he's received, the, the Queen Elizabeth Golden Jubilee Medal uh, that is awarded to Canadians who have made outstanding and exemplary contributions to their communities or to Canada uh, as a whole. Uh, he has one of the Canada 125 medals, the Midland uh, YMCA Peace Medal. And in 2007, he received a scroll and the Golden Medal of Ben Manera so I'm going to get this wrong. Benemerenti, Benemerenti, uh, Ontario Historical, or sorry, uh, uh, bestowed the Pope Benedict uh, XVI uh, award in recognition of his, his unique dedication to Christianity. Uh, but you know, when I was uh, writing the letter of nomination for Paul, uh, I said a few things that went well beyond medals that I wanted to share with you. Uh, Paul is an exemplary teacher, but also an exemplary learner. And those two things should go together, and they do in him. That duality uh, makes him an inspiration to students and colleagues uh, who come to know him. He inspires through a very calm, knowledgeable, and caring personality that sparks curiosity and sparks conversation. I met Paul in 1998, in my first year uh, as a president, when I was doing the new president's tour and landed in my hometown in Barrie at the Queen's Hotel. Now, Tony had this habit of picking amazing places to meet alumni in. And Paul, with many of uh, friends from the Simcoe County area, gathered there uh, to share stories about Trent's past, uh, its present, uh, and a little bit of its future, but lots on the past. But in the time that I spent with Paul in his many interactions at Trent, we certainly had lots of discussions about the past and the present, but also just as many about Trent's future. The differences in the values and culture that had evolved on campus, the generational and political differences that influenced the institution's evolution, and the importance of engagement with students was always at the top of the conversation with him. So I very quickly found the sense of community and commitment that he had dedicated uh, his life to. His volunteerism and his contributions to communities is widespread. Uh, two brief examples, because there are many I could share. One uh, is his service as a director and secretary of the Ontario Historical Society, and he's a member of the board of directors of the OPP Museum. His trend association obviously stretches across several decades. And while my notes said uh, you could almost say uh, he, be, he was back at its creation. I thought somehow, Paul, that didn't uh, seem right. He was one of the first class, the class of 64, September of 64, which does really take him back uh, to the very early days of our institution. 
but who's an alumnus in, in residence at Trent from 2004 to 2008. Uh, he, he, is a, he is a member of the editorial team and a guest editor of uh, Trent Magazine, and he received the Robert Campbell Friends of Trent International Program Award. Now, Paul continues in his role uh, as an advisor to the Trent African Caribbean Student Union and the Trent Muslim Students Association uh, today. His interest and involvement in the Trent International Program, or as we affectionately call it, TIP, has been enthusiastically received by the TIP students who affectionately refer to him as Uncle Paul. Paul's impact as a result of his commitment to international issues is perhaps best exemplified by his being named a Divisional Chief of Port of Coto in Sierra Leone in 2005. So I'm honored this evening to be amongst Paul's family and friends to celebrate this remarkable man and friend for his past and for his continuing commitment to Trent and the community at large, we're pleased to honor Uncle Paul Delaney with the 2011 Spirit of Trent Award. <laughs> 